The New Zealand Blood Service needs to collect approximately 3,000 donations every week to meet requirements. Blood donations can be made at one of the New Zealand Blood Service donor centres around the country or at a mobile blood drive held in the community. Once the blood is collected, it's processed by the New Zealand Blood Service processing teams based in Auckland, Hamilton, Wellington and Christchurch. The blood processing department covers uh, things like blood components and blood products, so that's receiving in blood, sorting it out. So when the blood comes in from other donor, donor centres or our own donor centre, we'll receive it in, it will come down into the laboratory, we will hang up the blood to filter. After the blood is filtered, it's weighed and put into a centrifuge. And then after centrifugation, we put it through a blood separator, which actually pushes the plasma away from the red cells, and then we'll get individual components, in this case, plasma and red cells. After that, we blast freeze the plasma, which is like freezing it really quickly, and then from there, we store it at minus 35 degrees. The red cells then go into the cool room where it stays at 4 degrees from then on. The platelets are stored at 22 degrees and are rocked side to side to prevent them from clumping. These will last for five days. Throughout processing, the New Zealand Blood Service maintains its high level of safety, prioritising it above all else. Uh, safety is our cornerstone at the New Zealand Blood Service. This means that we need to make sure that both our donors and our patients are safe and that we as the workers are safe and that we're wearing our right equipment, that we're following good manufacturing practice and good laboratory practice, which ensures that we are safe from infection as well as anyone else. And none more important than the cryogenics department, where staff are working with hazardous materials on a day-to-day -day basis. We also have a department of cryogenics and that deals with the specialised processing such as stem cells, washing red cells, freezing stem cells, washing platelets and dealing with the processing serum my jobs. During processing, blood samples are handed over to donation accreditation teams based in Auckland and Christchurch to ensure all blood components meet approved standards. Within the blood service, donation accreditation has the role of uh, accrediting the blood that is collected from our donors. What that means is that when the, when the blood is collected, uh, we need to check the validity of the blood, the safety of the blood. All the blood components are held in quarantine until the testing in our lab is completed. That includes blood grouping, red cell antibody screening, infectious testing, including hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV and syphilis. And we also use nucleic acid testing, which makes the blood even safer. It's a combination of the donor questionnaire and comprehensive testing that confirms the suitability of all donations for transfusion. And the high importance placed on safety makes sure that any life-saving blood and blood products are of the highest quality. At the end of the day, we've got uh, a large number of results. What we're hoping to find with each of those is that they are all negative. Samples are then labelled and the blood components can be released from quarantine and are available for use the staff knowing that they've made a difference to someone in need. I always wanted a job where I was helping people and I really feel like I'm helping people in this, in this particular job. I'm using applied science to uh, help people uh, save lives and to make people's uh, quality of lives better and that's what I really like about it. Thanks to donations from voluntary blood donors around the country, blood and blood products are always available to patients in need across New Zealand.